Hi, I'm Jill Conrath, and I am so excited to be speaking at Dritty LC on May 17th and 18th in Milano. Let me tell you a little bit about me. I am somebody who has been in sales my entire career. I started out as a salesperson knocking on doors, moved into sales leadership positions, ultimately uh, started working on sales challenges like new product launches as a consultant and helping companies shorten time to revenue. And then about 10 years ago, I got into writing books about some of the sales challenges that I was seeing people face on a regular basis. My first one was called Selling to Big Companies. It was all about how to get your foot in the door of a large corporation. Then I wrote Snap Selling, which is all about selling to crazy busy buyers, people who are so overwhelmed with their work that they really don't want to switch with, from the status quo. My next one was on how to get up to speed fast in a new sales position, and my most recent one is called More Sales, Less Time, and it's all about what you can do to, um, how to save an extra hour or two a day. So all that leads into what we'll be talking about when we're together, because I'm kind of going to lump those ideas together and talk about issues that you're all facing. For example, we're going to start by talking about the modern buyer. What what he or she is doing that's different and how their expectations have changed and, and really what that means that we as sellers need to do differently today in order to capture their attention and then in order to keep their attention because as we all know it's much easier for people to stay with the status quo than it is to switch to something else. So we'll be looking at the modern buyer and then all the ramifications and what it means for us. We're going to get very, very specific because we're actually going to look at, now that we understand this about the modern buyer, how can we translate that into making phone calls or sending emails so we can actually get our foot in the door, have a meeting with a decision maker who has the power to say yes or no to uh, what we're talking about, what we have to sell. But also because we are dealing with very busy people, we're going to take a look at uh, places during the sales process where they do get stuck and what we can do to keep decisions moving during the time that we're working with them because we don't want things to stall out. And then we're going to take a look at multiple ways to accelerate the buying process itself. We're going to look at trigger events, which are probably my favorite thing in the entire world. The best strategy I know to find buyers who are ready to make a change, you know, in a really short order, those are the best kind of prospects to find. And then at the end, we're going to wrap it up and we're going to take a look at you, you specifically and how you're working because one of the things that I've really found in the last few years is that salespeople themselves and entrepreneurs are, are literally overwhelmed too. It's not just the buyers who are busy, it is the sellers who are overwhelmed too. So we're going to look at various strategies that you can implement that will literally change the way you work. They'll reduce the amount of stress you feel and they're going to be able to help you free up one to two hours more per day. And to me, even better, when you have that extra time, you can you can certainly use it to make more calls, to you know sell more things. You can use it to take time off if you're working too hard. But I really think that in today's business environment, when you're dealing with overwhelmed buyers, that one of the most crucial things that we have to bring to them is that our ideas and our insights and information that we can uh, share in order to help them understand why they may need to make a change and then ultimately why it should be with us. But here's the big but. The way we're working is not helping us that way because it requires us to be more strategic than before, creative, um, uh, analytical. I mean, it requires so many thinking skills. And for most salespeople today, most entrepreneurs, again, we're bouncing from this and this, from one task to another, and it's a little bit crazy. So all told, we're going to wrap it together. We are going to talk about what you can do to drive more revenue in less time. A lot of different strategies to help you out in that, in that arena. So don't miss this upcoming conference. Again, May 17th and 18th in Milano. You'll want to be there, and I'll see you then. Thanks.